My name is Serhat Karastan. Uh, I'm from Turkey. My film called Pass by Sensor in English uh, and in Turkish Görülmüştür. And yeah, I'm coming from Istanbul, but originally I'm actually from east, eastern part of the country. I'm, I have Kurdish origin. Yeah, and uh, it's my first feature film. Before that, I made several short films. And yeah. Pass by Sensor. This is a re really interesting title. What is it about? It's about a man who is working in prison and his job is to read uh, the all of letter of prisoner they are sending outside and they are receiving from out and censoring the letter if he found any objectionable things. And the story of this uh, man, uh, it's his journey, the day he started to work and then we started to question uh, if he's going to be part of the prison or not. We live there and it's about his psychology because by the time in the story he, he lost himself and he, he lose the connection to the reality. He creates uh, another reality in his mind and he lost himself in the story he imagined. Sure. And why is it important to sell, tell such a story? I have personal connection to this story, of course, first, uh, because I have been in correspondence with someone in prison for a long time. He's a political prisoner, he's still in prison, and uh, I received a letter, the part of the letter was blacked out, and they censored, and also after that letter I realized they are reading actually everything we write, and the letter is something very intimate, uh, it's about your intimacy, you know, and after that I... First, I didn't, of course, I didn't uh, plan to make a film about the subject. It's even, I found it very interesting, but I didn't uh, thought uh, to make a film about it. Uh, but I can't leave it until I finish the film. It was something in my mind for a long time. It's growing up and uh, then I wanted to make, I believe it's also, when I started to work on this project, I, I didn't know it's going to be a reflection of our times because uh, since I decided to make this film, and now, like what happened in Turkey is really, like we, we it's like we, we passed one century, like we really, it's, it's like, like last few years, it's like long time, like, uh, I mean, before military coup, for now, when, from now, when we see, it's like long time ago, because it showed that how difficult time we are passing, and the people become like uh, in paranoia, they are, they, they have fear, and the film reflecting a bit this, to me, it's showing the the soul of this time. Because of that, I think it's important, yeah. And since you mentioned already the political situation in Turkey, has there been anything challenging for you during the shooting process, or surprisingly easy, maybe? For this film, was uh, there was not easy things, actually. Uh, the, what One thing is that, actually, uh, like every actor we went, they accepted, they, because they, they liked the script, and they, even if what, it was a first feature film, uh, they, with the all actor we went, they accepted, but there was many difficulties actually. Uh, for example, we did casting, and then military coup happened, and this, the, our main actor he went to uh, United States. He said, "I'm, I'm com not coming back." Then uh, we postponed the film, not just only because of the actor, for many other reasons, and we postponed the film. Then one year later, we lost one year. We restart from like zero. Uh, and the most important things, because of the context, uh, we have problem of location. We wanted to shoot in a real prison, but uh, we shot the film in emergency state. They didn't let us, they didn't give permission. Uh, also, they even didn't give permission for just see prison, like for a re visual reference when we build it. It was one of the most difficult things and it was the low budget film and with the limited budget, we have to make, build our prison. And that was one of the most difficult uh, things. One other thing I remember about the shooting days, because of the limited budget, we shot the film in 26 days. Normally for that script, we actually will need minimum like 38, 40 days. That's also make it a bit difficult, yeah. Have you had the possibility to screen this film in Turkey already and how were reactions? Yeah, we screened some festival and also it's been released recently. We got very good reaction from audience, I mean, like all festivals, all screenings, uh, the Q&A were, the, all of Q&A were very interesting. And the people were excited to talk about this film because it's not propaganda film, but there is a lot of uh, problem of our time. The film is questioning. 
and people they they wanted to talk about this kind of problems and the film allowed them to talk about this kind of things because of that it was very good also in turkey i don't know like outside is a bit less but they love the the sense of humor of the film it's like a subject very serious very harsh subject but the way we tell this story the with a humoristic tone people like that also your first screening is or one of your first screenings is running right now i excited about the german reactions to this film you nominated for the audience at world so you might care about this don't you <laughs> yeah i'm very curious uh, not only about of course the award is very important for for filmmakers who are just on the beginning of the way to be filmmaker yeah all of uh, uh, awards important and but I'm, i'm most curious about the reaction of the audience because we screen several countries Uh, the reaction of every country is, is different and the questions are different and it's that's why it's very interesting like in France it's diff it was different in Czech Republic different in other countries different uh, yeah that's why I'm very curious how will be the reaction of German audience because as Germany is a country they kind of have a very strong relation with Turkey with Turkish community and yeah that's why I'm very curious let's see You also nominated for the Volkswagen Financial Services Film Award, which if you were about to win it, it would give you maybe some money to start new projects. Are you having any ideas in mind? Do you have any further projects coming up? Yeah, it will be great for making the new project, actually for the starting. Uh, now I, I'm going to shoot in 8 December, like, uh, in like 10, 12 days, a short film actually. Uh, we, we got finance from France, it's going to be a French production, but we will shoot in Turkey because we couldn't find finance in Turkey. Uh, yeah, that's the next project. I have some idea in my mind for like as a feature film, I didn't start it yet. After the shooting uh, of the short film, I will start to work on new project. So we are excited about this. Um, last question so far, what is your first impression about the festival? You just arrived, like you said. Um, what do you think? Well, I mean, I know Germany a bit. I have, I've been several times. I know the country, I know the culture, I know people. I work with the German because this is co-production with Germany. And we did the all post-production of the film in Germany and we are very happy and we are very, we are, it's, it's really great to do here. Um, yeah, I know the, the German, this side of the Germany. And first time in this city, I even cannot say the name of the city, Braunschweig. Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> And first time in festival, uh, yeah, everything is went well. People are so warm, and uh, I, I arrived a few hours ago, like two, three hours ago, and yeah, they are very nice and warm. Uh, it looks it's going to be a very good festival. Thank you very much for this interview. Have good luck with the audience award, and have a good time here in Braunschweig. Thank you so much. You too.